Hello, my name is Dan Richardson. Welcome to the Dan Richardson Show. Today we'll be talking about why I love Creed 2. So Creed 2 is about um, Adonis and Rocky facing off against Ivan and Victor Drago. And that's basically about it. Um, the reasons that I love this film is because it touches on the sort of aspects of toxic, of toxic, of toxic masculinity that I've been talking about for this entire series of reviews. Um, showing how... You know, ego and pride is a part of the human experience, but it's important to just be around the ones you love. You know, whether it's friends or loved ones, just be around them and lean on them and use them for guidance. And, you know, just try to be a good person and a genuine person, and that will allow you to be a good person and to thrive and to win. Um, this film does that so well, and it and it works because it's been building on those themes. And yeah, I've said that these are just nice, entertaining sports movies, but there is a way to look at them through a critical lens. And of course, my way isn't the only way. I've always believed that, but it is a way. You can tell that the entire cast and crew of this of this film love these characters, from the actors to the editor you can tell that they love making this movie and it was great and it was and this film comes out shortly after the death of my grandfather and sort of seeing a character deal with hard-hitting emotions and leaning on his family and friends the way I had to during my difficult time really is inspiring and moving and this movie you know, I love this movie, and I can completely relate to what is going on in um, Adonis's head. And while I've never really been in a fight where I've almost died before, I can relate to him through empathy. And this film is just great. I love the soundtrack. I love the cinematography. Um, I think the director does a really good job at doing a Rocky film, and I... And I can't wait to see what he does in the next Transformers movie. Hopefully, he has a bit of his own voice in that film. But yeah, it's it's great. And Stallone, also, you can tell he loves this character. And this is just a really good movie. Does it have some problems? Yeah, I think the end is a little bit more sequel baby than these typically tend to be. But that's only my real issue. And my issue is a nitpick. If you have not seen this film, it's on HBO Max, but I, of course, watched them on Blu-ray here. And, uh, yeah, just watch it because whether you've seen all the Rocky films or not, this is just genuinely a good watch no matter what. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of this film. What's your favorite Rocky movie? Have you seen Rocky 3 yet? And remember that God made you special. He loves you very much. I hope you have a very nice day. And always... Be kind to others.